Welcome to Teledynamics video training series for the UCM 6300. Here are some of the topics being covered today. For simplicity, I've added a table of contents in the description below, allowing you to jump to a particular content section of the video. Now, let's get started. Before we log into the UCM today, notice the forgot password link on the login screen. Today, we're going to set up and verify our email settings so that if we ever forget your password, a link to reset it can be emailed to you. Another reason to have your email settings correctly configured is so that voicemail to email will work for all the UCM users. First, log into the GUI of the UCM. From there, go to System Settings and click Email Settings. You are now on the default email settings page. I'm going to show you how to use a Gmail account as an email relay, but you could also use your own email server to relay emails outside of your local network. To use Gmail as a relay, change the type from MTA to Client. You will notice that you now have access to additional settings. Enter the SMTP server for Gmail as shown, followed by your Gmail username and password. If you like, you can also edit the sender's display name and the sender's from email address here. Next, click Save, then Apply Changes. While the UCM is reloading the new changes, you will want to check your Gmail account settings as shown here. Now, click on the Test button and enter a valid email address to test your new settings. Once you click the Test button here, the UCM will send you to the Email Send Log page. You will need to click on the Show All Logs button first to see the most recent log output. Otherwise, the initial page view shown will not include the test email you just sent. Once the log page refreshes, you can see that your test email shows a send result, or sent, and a return code of 250. This signifies that the email was sent successfully from the UCM. As a final step, you will want to verify that the email was received by the recipient. Now that you have your email settings tested and working from the UCM, in another video I will demonstrate how to reset your UCM's admin password using the Forgot Password link. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like and subscribe buttons below. The voiceover service featured in this video has been provided by me, Allison Smith of the IVR Voice. Contact me today for your customized IVR and voice services needs. If you have questions or need additional information about the topics covered in today's video, please contact your Teledynamics salesperson or contact us using the information provided here.